continue our product journey here. Uh, we have been taking off or starting to talk about the gas sample probes, the probes, uh, gas sample probes responsible for extracting the gas sample out of the process, out of the chimney. Um, we have been transporting the gas sample via the heated sample lines and um, I was explaining that it's very important that there is no cold spot um, which uh, could result into uh, condensate. So, and finally we are arriving at the gas cooler. Just a very brief description why the drying which is done by cooling the drying of the gas is important. Um, uh, some of the analyzer systems have an interference with water. That's one of the reasons why it has to be removed. Uh, and and um, so uh, the task for the sample gas cooler is that um, the water has to be removed. This is one criteria. And depending on the components you are measuring, it's also very important that the SO2 loss meaning the loss of components you want to measure afterwards um, is um, relatively low and constant. As you can see here, this is um, the so-called MAK-10 cooler. The MAK-10 cooler is, uh, was developed um, and is produced by the company called HT Thermotechnik, which merged with the company PSG in 2016, finally became There's two main criteria which describe the performance of a sample gas cooler. One criteria is the so-called outlet dew point, which, mean, which describes how dry is the gas which after the cooler is transported to the analyzer. And the second criteria is the so-called SO2 washout rate. Both of these components um, are very important even under changing conditions, which means um, if, for example, uh, the um, inlet dew point has a variety, the plant starts or the plane, plant stops, um, then it's very important that the condition for the sampling remain unchanged. Um, and uh, this is the main responsibility for the heat exchanger in the sample gas cooler. The Mach 10 is a model which can be operated, the version you can see and you can even hear, uh, here is a so-called compressor version. There's also a Peltier cooling technology available. The very special thing about the MAK-10 is the many options we can offer here. So first of all, the patented heat exchanger technology allows a very constant and low outlet dew point, even with high flow rates, which you can see in the data sheet. Um, uh, and, um, but uh, we can ensure that the outlet dew point is constant and low. Here it shows now two degrees C, it's usually in the range of two to three degrees C. Um, and on the other hand side, it's also optimized um, um, the terms of SO2 washout. Furthermore, the MAK-10 is not just a normal sample gas cooler. It also comes with a lot of um, options and advantages. First of all, I would like to outline the display, as you can see it here. This display counts the hours of operation. It will tell you whenever a service is needed. Um, uh, with this display, you can find way more information. It's not only displaying um, the outlet dew point, uh, but it gives you um, also uh, additional information. Then you can see here we have different filter, filter which can be exchanged without the need of any tools. It is an option
option you can find here, uh, for example, um, the flow meter, uh, which allows you um, uh, to regulate the flow. Internally, it is possible to add a sensor gas pump. Um, so this unit itself can be used as a real conditioning system, not just as a heat. Furthermore, you can see there's two peristaltic pump pumps in this case. We have options that we offer an acid dosing opportunity. Um, you can extend the Mach 10 with one heat exchanger, two heat exchanger, up to four heat exchanger. In this case, we would extend um, the Mach 10 with a so-called docking station because uh, the space The modular architecture and structure of the MAK-10 even allows us to supply um, a 19-inch red version, which is easily inserted into um, the standard um, cabinets, uh, which are used in the emission modules. Another big advantage of uh, the structure here is uh, that you can even read the display when the cooler is located very down in the um, um, in the cabinet. So you will always find very good information, and you will see: is there any alarm? Is there any service required? And furthermore, to uh, um, uh, the information which is given here. Um, you have the chance um, to have an alarm contact uh, which can be um, connected to the school. The MAK-10 is produced many, many times and in the market for a while. Um, it is still, let's say, a very robust and strong sample gas cooler, um, even in, let's say, very demanding outside um, uh, you will find a very good performance on this cooler. I'm happy to introduce also the MAK20, which I will do in the next video, um, uh, which is uh, our newest product and is focusing a little bit more on the reduction of the SO2 washout. Um, but uh, this video I would like to share with you um, uh, from the other factory, um, 